King's Landing was built on the steps of the devilish mountain range on the western side of the Floating Cloud Empire. It was one of the countless cities in the vast universe continent. The beginning of winter had arrived. The devilish mountain range was very cold, and the ground was covered with a thick layer of frost. In a cave, a young man slowly opened his eyes. Looking around, he seemed confused. Universe Continent? King's Landing? Chen family? The young man murmured in hushed tones. Then, realization dawned. I never thought the legendary transmigration would actually happen to me. His name was Peter Chen. He was originally just a regular university student on Earth. An accidental explosion had sent him to Universe Continent. His soul was in an unfamiliar body. The unlucky person he possessed was also named Peter Chen. This one was the son of Harold Chen, patriarch of one of King's Landing's two most prominent families. Unfortunately, despite being the son of a wealthy, powerful family, this world's Peter Chen lacked any talent in cultivation. He was publicly labeled as a wastrel, and the Chens had always despised him. A few days ago, something happened in the Chen family. The people following the patriarch Harold Chen had a conflict with another group of people in the family. Peter was inevitably involved in it. Those people schemed against him while Peter was hunting in the devilish mountain range. He fell from a cliff and was severely injured. That was what had opened him up to possession by Peter of Earth, who transmigrated to this place at that exact moment. Peter let out a sigh. Martial arts were revered on the universe continent. Even a martial disciple who only had a few levels of experience was several leagues above a wastrel with no cultivating ability. Then there were martial masters, grand martial masters, innate grandmasters, and legendary beings who had reached the innate stage and advanced to the higher realms. Peter was a nobody compared to them. Although the Great Elder, who represented the rival branch of the Chen family, was only a third grade grand martial master, he was regarded as a remarkable figure in King's Landing. This world's Peter Chen had been the target of the Great Elder. It hadn't gone well. He sighed again, his mind filled with despair. With the Chen family's current situation, it was very likely he'd be killed if Peter returned. Why did he have to face such a difficult start when he transmigrated? Others he'd heard of had transmigrated into great lives. It wasn't a great way to enter the universe continent. A cold and mechanical voice rang out in Peter's mind, freezing him in place. Ding! The cultivation system has been successfully activated. A contended look appeared on his face. Peter, before his transmigration, had learned about the system. He had access to cultivation. It was more than the original Peter had had. Ding! Congratulations to the host on successfully activating the cultivation system. The reward of 10,000 spiritual energies is now available. The host can allocate the spiritual energies on his stats window. Peter was surprised to see a transparent panel materialize in front of him as the system prompt sound chimed. Host, Peter Chen. Cultivation, mortal. Zero out of 100. Cultivation grade, null grade. Zero out of 1,000. Cultivation Technique Chen Family Qi Gathering Spell Beginner Proficiency 1 out of 100 Martial Technique Mirror Sword Spell Exemplary Proficiency 199 out of 500 Spiritual Energy 10,000 points Current Growth Rate 1 per minute He read the stats carefully and thought I can work with this Peter clicked on the cultivation column on the screen in front of him. His available spiritual energy was instantly reduced by 100 points, and he felt a warm sensation throughout his body. His previously empty aura produced a faint trace of genuine chi. Ding! Level up! Current status, second grade martial disciple. Spiritual energy growth rate increased to 4 points per minute. Ding! Level up! Current status, Ninth grade martial disciple. Spiritual energy growth rate increased to 18 points per minute. Wow, that was quite the jump. 
he tried to level up again. Ding! Host's spiritual energy is insufficient, unable to level up. Peter snapped back to his senses after he was denied. When he looked at the remaining 900 spiritual energy points on his stats window, a broad smile spread across his face. He'd transformed from a novice with no power into a ninth grade martial disciple cultivator in just a few clicks. That level of cultivation put him among the best of King's Landing's youth. This is more like it. Peter thought for a moment before tapping on the cultivation technique column. There were five levels of control over martial skills and cultivation methods. Beginner, Intermediate, Master, Peak, and Legendary, which gave heavenly human unity. With each level increase, his mastery of cultivation and martial skills would significantly boost his power. The two powers were complementary, even if he was low level in one. A high level in the other would give him incredible capability in both. With maximum cultivation, one would have shocking power. Ding! Congratulations on raising the Chen Family Qi Gathering spell to mastery. Spiritual energy growth rate increased to 20 points per minute. Peter shook his head and closed the stats window after allocating all the points he could. Now it's time to settle some scores. He muttered quietly as he looked outside the cave. The rival groups in the Chen family had plotted against him. He was seriously injured after his fall from the cliff. However, Peter had leveled up to a ninth grade martial disciple, and he was the son of the Chen family's patriarch. He had the right and the ability to take revenge. He stood up, fist clenched. He smiled and turned in the direction of his home. When they find out I'm alive, I'm sure that'll wipe the smug grin off their faces. Peter began running before he finished his words. He emerged from the cave and dashed into the distance. At the same time, a row of torches flickered to life, leading down a small mountain path away from the cave. Another cluster of lights was present, a group of people walking not far from the cave. They held torches as they walked on the frost-covered path. Are you certain he's here? The man in the lead wore a brown robe and had sharp brows that slanted toward his temples. He had the appearance of one who was quite capable. One of the followers said sadly, That's right, Deacon Lang. Before young Master Chen went missing, he said that he'd be by the cliffs above this area. If he fell, he'd have to land around here. The cliff was more than 300 meters tall. Even if a martial master fell from it, his chances of survival were slim. This world's Peter, with no cultivation ability, would certainly die. Stop talking! The brown-robed man coldly interrupted him before the other man could finish his sentence. You'll share young Master Chen's fate if anything happened to him. Out of fear, the follower immediately fell quiet. His face was pale, and he didn't dare to say anything else. Another man, smiling and round-faced with the same brown robe, squinted his eyes and spoke up. Why do you have to make things difficult for your servants, Deacon Lang? Ever since the young lady went to Flowing Cloud Institution, no one has been able to get through to Mr. Chen anymore. He's been acting depressed recently. It's possible. The round-faced man didn't finish his sentence. Everyone knew what he meant. Perhaps Peter was so depressed that he committed suicide by jumping off the cliff. Many of the team members silently nodded in agreement. Harry! A flash of murderous intent burned in Lang's eyes. He snorted and said, <laughs> I'm well aware of what you're thinking. Even if young Master Chen is depressed, he's still the Patriarch's son. Following that, he waved his hand and said loudly, Spread out and search! We must track him down! Lang gave Harry a look and said nothing else. Everyone followed his orders and went to look for the missing heir. Before they went very far, they heard some soft footsteps not far away. Everyone came to a halt and turned to face the source of the noise. Peter walked out of the forest, casually, as if he was taking a walk. Young Master Chen! Deacon Lang breathed a sigh of relief when he saw him. He ran and stopped beside him. Are you hurt? When the round-faced Harry and the short, fat man saw that Peter was safe and sound, they were astounded 
as if they'd seen a ghost. Fortunately, they were adept at maintaining their composures, so no one noticed their expressions. I'm fine, Uncle Lang. Peter shook his head and smiled. He took a look at Harry and the man next to him. It seems like Harry and Ricky aren't happy to see me safe, he smiled. Are you worried I'll tell everyone you two pushed me off the cliff? When Lang heard that, he was enraged. He turned on the two. Is this true? Ricky's expression changed, but Harry remained relaxed. He looked at Peter and said solemnly, Everyone in the Chen family knows you hate me because I'm friends with young Master Frederick. His expression became solemn and he said in a deep voice, Do you have any evidence Ricky and I pushed you off the cliff, young Master Chen? I'm one of your family's deacons. The patriarch and the great elder won't stand by and let you frame me. Evidence, Peter sneered when he heard that. Then he leaped forward, landing in front of Ricky. He put his fingers together and summoned his power to strike forward, stabbing Ricky's chest. Lang was shocked when he saw the move. What? Genuine chi fluctuation! Although the chi emitted by Peter's body was concealed when he moved, it couldn't be hidden when he used it. Young Master Chen can cultivate? Lang looked at Peter, feeling excited. If he could cultivate, no matter how poor his talent was, Harold Chen could use his resources to help Peter achieve high levels. Furthermore, with his sister, Lady Jenny Chen, studying at Flowing Cloud Institution, the rival great elder and his followers wouldn't be able to challenge Harold's position as patriarch. Ricky was completely unaware that Peter had any cultivation power. He'd always thought of the patriarch's son as a useless piece of trash. He never thought Peter would suddenly attack with such shocking speed. As a result, Ricky had no time to flee. He could only stand and watch in surprise as Peter's finger landed on his body. Peter hooked his finger and a hole appeared on Ricky's shirt. An exquisite jade pendant fell from his chest. The word Chen on the jade pendant stood out in the torch's light. Lang was initially shocked by the young man's display of strength. However, when he saw the pendant, his face darkened as he yelled, Ricky, explain why you have young Master Chen's jade pendant. Ricky clenched his fist and threw it at Peter. His fist whistled through the air as he summoned his own power. He knew that he'd been revealed, and there'd be no escape from Deacon Lang and the Chen family's guards. His only chance of survival was to overpower Peter and use him as a hostage to force the others to let him go. Peter snorted coldly when he saw Ricky's actions. He clenched his fists and punched his opponent in the face. Hmm, you're only an 8th grade martial disciple. Do you think I'd be afraid of you? His new strength had been revealed. His blow made Ricky take a few steps backward. A ninth grade disciple? exclaimed Lang. He was even more shocked when he looked deeper and sensed Peter's cultivation base. He'd sensed the subtle genuine chi fluctuation earlier, but he couldn't believe that Peter would suddenly reveal his cultivation and his high martial rank at the same time. Lang wished he could ask the young man how he'd undergone such a drastic transformation in such a short period, or concealed it for so long. Unfortunately, his facial expression revealed his inner thoughts. Ricky's face paled as soon as he saw Lang's surprise. He exclaimed hysterically, it's impossible. You're just a wastrel. You can't cultivate. How could you have hidden such a high rank? You had to have used a concealment technique. As if insane, he charged forward and yelled, I'll break you. Peter looked at him, his eyes narrow with disdain, and said coldly, Nothing is impossible. I think I should thank you for pushing me off the cliff. While I was there, I had a lucky chance encounter in order to express my gratitude. I'll send you to hell quickly. Before he could finish his sentence, Peter's figure flickered and appeared next to a Chen family guard. He drew the long sword from the man's waist. Then, the sword in his hand twisted like a poisonous snake and flew straight toward Ricky's chest. He had no time to evade. The blade slashed into his left shoulder, leaving a hideous bloodied hole on his uniform. Ricky's hope of easy victory was destroyed. He roared angrily, Harry! Why are you still standing there? Attack him. We're already compromised. Do you think you'll be able to escape? Harry looked at Lang, who was staring at him seriously. There was nothing he could do. He was only a second-grade martial master, 
but the deacon had reached the ninth grade, and everybody knew his skill. It was impossible for Harry to flee, and suicidal to attack Peter. Die! Peter waved a hand across his longsword, and a second one, made of light, appeared next to its steel twin. They moved as if mirrored, slashing at Ricky. He had no time to evade. The swords struck him. Two ferocious wounds appeared on his chest. He screamed, fell forward, and died. Ding! Congratulations on killing your rival. Mirror sword proficiency increased. Reward. 1,000 points of spiritual energy. You have completed the hidden mission, Revenge. Peter's face lit up when he heard the system prompt sound. Harry, do you have any last words? He sneered. Harry's legs weakened as he heard the man's words. He immediately knelt on the ground and begged, Please, young Master Chen, spare my life. The great elder gave me an order, that's all. I'm only a deacon. How could I defy his wishes? I beg you, please spare me. I'll become your slave. When Deacon Lang saw how terrified Harry was, he shook his head and said, You coward. What should we do with him, young Master Chen? He despised Harry, but he couldn't make the decision on his own. Peter pondered for a moment before he decided and said, Uncle Lang, despite his cowardice, Harry isn't useless. Spare his life and let's question him. The deacon nodded and motioned toward Harry. Tie this traitor up. The Chen family guards rushed forward and bound him. Okay, let's go. Peter took the jade pendant and hung it around his neck carefully. Lang nodded. The group quickly followed the mountain path back to the Chen family house. King's Landing's late-night sky was filled with stars, shining beautifully on the city. The difference between the peaceful scene and the devilish mountain range's intimidating valleys and knife-like peaks was like night and day. The Chen family lived in a courtyard on the east side of King's Landing. Harold's house was in the middle of the courtyard, surrounded by other homes and servants' quarters as if it were the sun surrounded by planets. Peter was brought by the guards to his father's chambers. The room was well lit. A middle-aged man with black hair and thick eyebrows sat waiting. His posture was very straight and dignified. Harold Chen, the family patriarch, certainly looked like the part. Lang stood beside the stone table. He had hurried forward to inform Harold of what had occurred in the mountains. After hearing the report, Harold nodded and said softly, You did well, Peter. If Harry really is an agent of the Grand Elder, he'll be very useful in revealing how deep this scheme goes. Deacon, you will watch over him personally. Don't let anything happen to him. Lang nodded, then he turned around and left. Harold rose from his seat after the deacon's figure vanished. He placed his palm on Peter's shoulder and sent a wisp of chi into his body. You've really reached the ninth grade of mastery. After a long moment, he pulled back his hand and shook his head. I didn't believe it when Lang said it. He claimed you were a high-level martial disciple. I can barely believe it still. It must be my good luck. Peter had already planned an explanation. Harry and Ricky pushed me off the cliff. I thought I was going to die, but an old man saved me. He said I reminded him of his son, who died in a similar way. He said saving me helped him find a resolution. Then he helped cleanse my aura as a way of thanks. That's how I gained those levels so fast. Harold was stunned for a moment, and then he burst out laughing. My son is really lucky. However, Peter failed to notice a flash of gloominess in his father's eyes. Harold continued, He must have been a very strong man to raise you so far. Where could such a powerful man have come from? He must be from far away and arrived recently if nobody's heard of him before. Peter, can you still contact him? If a person that powerful was lurking in the mountains nearby, then King's Landing could be in danger. Peter shrugged and didn't say anything. Harold felt a little worried when he saw his son's actions. However, when he looked at Peter in front of him, he quickly suppressed the concerning thoughts in his mind. He said, Peter, even though you're now a higher level, you still lack experience. To master your newfound abilities, you need to practice your cultivation here, then go to Scripture Pavilion to choose suitable martial specialties. 
Don't forget about the clan competition in a few weeks. I won't push you to defeat Frederick Chen, but you at least need to get into the top ten. Dad, don't you think you're underestimating me? Peter curled his lips and said haughtily, If I'm not going to win first place, then I might as well not go. Harold immediately burst into laughter when he heard his son's words. Ha <laughs> ha, good, you're ambitious, just what I expect from my son. If you can win first place in the clan competition, I'll reward you with a universe ring. The system prompt sound suddenly chimed in Peter's mind before his father's voice faded. Ding! Congratulations on triggering the mission, competition grand champion. Win first place in the clan competition. Reward, 50,000 spiritual energy points and one lucky draw ticket. Dad, you'll have to get that universe ring ready. Peter looked at him and smiled. I'll start training first thing tomorrow. Go. Harold waved his hand and smiled. Sleep well. I'm sure you'll give it your best. Beat Frederick. Let's see what the Grand Elder says about that. Peter nodded before he turned around and walked out of the house. After his son had left, Harold thought about the issue for a while and quickly left the room and made his way toward the devilish mountain range. His figure disappeared into the darkness. The sun rose in the morning. Peter was lying on the bed in his room, his arms resting behind his head. A transparent panel of light hung in the air in front of him. Host, Peter Chen. Cultivation, ninth grade martial disciple. Next level, five out of two thousand. Cultivation grade, null. Grade, next level, zero out of one thousand. Cultivation technique, Chen family chi gathering spell. Exemplary Mastery, Proficiency 1 out of 500. Martial Technique, Mirror Sword Spell, Exemplary Mastery, 299 out of 500. Spiritual Energy, 6,897 points. Current Growth Rate, 20 points per minute. I can upgrade it again. He raised his hand and tapped on the Cultivation Column. The spiritual energy column in the stats window dropped by 1,995 points. Faint wisps of spiritual energy from heaven and earth appeared from all directions and converged on his body. They flowed through Peter's meridians and melded with his aura. His skin had a faint luster that shifted as the energy circulated. Suddenly, his body trembled. He opened his mouth to exhale a mouthful of foul air. The air condensed but didn't dissipate. Finally, after drifting for a few feet, it slowly faded from existence. Ding! Congratulations on leveling up. Current realm, first grade martial master. Next level, 20,000 points. Spiritual energy rate increased to 30 points per minute. Peter looked thoughtfully at the screen as he muttered, the point requirement increased tenfold. If this keeps up, the higher levels will cost millions. I need a way to earn spiritual energy a lot faster. He raised his hand and tapped on the cultivation technique column. The spiritual energies on the attribute panel quickly depleted. The system prompt sounds continued to ring in his ears at the same time. Ding! Congratulations on raising Chen Family Qi Gathering Spell to Dominating Refinement. Next level, 1 out of 1500. Spiritual energy's growth rate increased to 32 points per minute. Ding! Congratulations on raising Chen Family Qi Gathering Spell to Pinnacle. Next level, 1 out of 5,000. Spiritual energy's growth rate increased to 34 points per minute. That's still too low. I'll need to do some serious leveling to increase the energy rate. He shook his head. If the Chen Family's other disciples knew what he was thinking, they'd be shocked at his greed. It was much harder to control a cultivation technique than a martial technique. Even though everybody in the family practiced the family chi gathering spell from a young age, most of them only had a basic level of control over it. Only Peter's older sister, Jenny, was adept at it. She was one of the Chen family's third generation disciples. She was a prodigy, recruited specifically by the Flowing Cloud Academy. She'd used the Chen family Qi gathering spell to achieve cultivation perfection before she reached 15 years old. That was why she'd gained the attention of the Flowing Cloud Academy's instructors. 
The academy was where geniuses were trained to mastery. Besides Jenny, the strongest of the family's third-generation disciples, Frederick, had also only reached his level of exemplary mastery by using the same chi-gathering spell. Peter had reached the pinnacle level in the spell, but he was still not satisfied with the result. He looked at the remaining spiritual energies on his stats window. He hesitated for a moment before deciding not to upgrade his cultivation aptitude. Even if that upgrade would significantly increase the spiritual energy's growth speed, it still wouldn't help him to reach the higher martial levels. Peter got out of bed and walked toward the door after putting the stats window away. Despite the fact that Harold had asked him to choose martial skills in the scripture pavilion, he felt that learning other martial skills would be a waste of his time and energy. His top priority was finding a way to increase his spiritual energy's growth rate. His mirror sword technique would be more than enough for martial fights. As he walked through the halls, the Chen family servants saw him and greeted him respectfully. They began to talk amongst themselves after he'd left. Why do I feel like young Master Chen is different today? You haven't heard? When he was hunting in the devilish mountain range, Deacon Harry and a guard pushed him off a cliff, but he was lucky. He was fine, and he rose to ninth grade martial disciple. That high? That means he rose to the top ten of the Chen family overnight. Maybe not. Even though he's at a high martial level, the other third generations are also ninth grade marshals, and young Master Frederick is now a first grade. Young Master Chen might not be a match for... Peter could hear their voices everywhere around him. They were filled with admiration and envy. Everybody seemed surprised that he'd survived the attack and leveled up so fast. He pretended he hadn't heard anything. His steps remained steady. Soon, he left the Chen family's main gate and walked toward the commercial street north of King's Landing. Peter's destination was the Floating Cloud Marshall School, located in the city's center. Everyone in the Floating Cloud Empire knew about the school, whether they were a warrior or not. In addition to being a prestigious academy, it was also one of the largest trading companies in the Empire. One could buy anything there as long as the price was right, including the legendary Heavenly Realm cultivation methods and martial skills. However, Peter wasn't visiting the school to shop. He was going to the arena. In the arena, students competed in martial competitions against their peers. Those types of battles boosted mastery of low-rank martial skills. As a result, the Floating Cloud Empire's low-ranking martial artists were all eager to compete in the arena. Naturally, Peter was no exception. Without spiritual energies, the arena was the quickest and safest place for him to improve his cross-sword technique. However, not long after he left the house, a group of people stopped him. A blue-robed young man in the lead stood in the middle of the road. He glanced at Peter and said, I heard you got lucky. You made it all the way to the ninth grade, Marshal Disciple. Congratulations, the man said with a pitiless expression. You finally changed from a boy to a man. Who was that young man? Peter was stunned when he saw the blue-robed youth. After a long while, he finally remembered his identity. It was David from the Harris family, another prominent family in King's Landing. He was the top genius in the family. He had tried and failed to pursue Jenny, and he tried to use some dirty tricks on her. As a result, she fought back and injured him severely. If an elder from the Harris family hadn't intervened in time, David could have died a long time ago. Even so, he was bedridden for more than a year. Other disciples in the Harris family had managed to surpass his achievements during that period, so his status had plummeted. Therefore, David hated Jenny to the core. However, he was no match for her, so he could only vent his anger on Peter. A good dog doesn't block the road, Peter said with an insulting tone. A ferocious look appeared on David's face. He moved closer and said fiercely, Kid, you're a martial artist now. If I beat you senseless or cripple you, no one can say anything against it. Take this opportunity and say whatever you want to say. You won't have a chance to speak again. Peter shook his head. His expression became cold and stern as he shouted, 
Get lost. The chi in his body blended with the sound and spread in all directions. David hadn't anticipated the surprise attack, and the impact made him dizzy. He staggered and struggled to keep his balance. A first-grade martial master? He raised his head and looked at Peter. He wished he could tear him to pieces. According to the information he received, Peter was only a ninth-grade martial disciple. That was why David dared to pick a fight. However, his rival wasn't a ninth-grade disciple, but a first-grade master. He didn't believe that Peter could break through from a ninth to a first in just one night. You guessed right. The corner of Peter's mouth raised slightly. He snorted and said, I don't have time for talking. He drew his sword out of the sheath. Its mirror image appeared in the air as they aimed at David's chest. There was a ripping sound as the silk tore and his chest was slashed. Fresh blood oozed from the wounds. They weren't serious, but they were painful and would leave unmistakable scars. David cried out in shock and fainted. Peter heard the system prompt sound, but there was no change in his expression. Ding! Congratulations on defeating David Harris in public. Reward, 500 points of spiritual energy, 100 experience in mirror sword technique proficiency. He wiped the blood off his sword casually and shouted at the men behind David. Take your master and get lost. The followers picked up their leader and ran. Peter sheathed his sword and walked toward the floating cloud marshal school. After he left, the people attracted by the commotion started to gossip in low voices. That was Peter Chen, right? Didn't they say that he was a null with no cultivation ability? A middle-aged man asked. You haven't heard? Peter had a miraculous encounter in the devilish mountain range. He broke through to a ninth grade martial disciple. It seems like the Chen family was trying to hide his strength. The others nodded in agreement. The capability Peter displayed clearly belonged to a first grade master. They didn't know that he could level up from a ninth to a first in just one night. If he was really such a genius, he wouldn't be in a small place like King's Landing. Peter didn't hear what those people were talking about. He had already arrived outside the floating cloud school. He looked around casually before he pushed the door open and walked into the compound. A finely dressed old man stood behind the desk in the hall. When he saw Peter walk inside, he smiled and said, Young Master Chen, welcome to Floating Cloud. What can I do for you? Hello, sir. Peter nodded calmly. I want to enter the arena. Can you arrange it for me? Even though the Chen family was minor in the Floating Cloud Empire, they were one of the two biggest families in King's Landing. They were also supporters of this local Floating Cloud branch. Every disciple of the Chen family had ten free passes to the arena every year. Peter had never used them in the past. When the old man heard the request, he immediately took a small token from the counter and handed it to Peter. He smiled and said, Young Master Chen, hold on to this token and wait for the challenge announcement. He was stunned when he saw the token and immediately said to the old man, Did you just give me a VIP token? You're too generous. The school's VIP tokens couldn't be simply purchased, even the lowest rank VIP token Peter had received. In all of King's Landing, only Jenny and the two Chen and Harris family patriarchs had floating cloud VIP tokens. Young Master Chen, you rose from the ninth grade to the first overnight. With such talent, you absolutely deserve a VIP token, the old man said. Peter wasn't too surprised when he heard that. The Floating Cloud School had excellent intelligence gathering ability, so they'd know about his strength and levels. He smiled. Thank you very much, shopkeeper. The moment he took the token, the system prompt sound rang in his mind once again. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the Floating Cloud Marshall School's low-level VIP token. You have completed the hidden mission, low-level VIP, and received the reward of 2,000 points of spiritual energy. He smiled broader. At this rate, I'll rank up quickly. Peter turned to the old man and said, Sir, can you prepare a quiet room for me? Very well, 
the old man nodded. He called for a staff member and told him to lead Peter to the quiet room meant for meditation. After he left, a secret door suddenly opened in the wall behind the old man. An exceptionally handsome young man walked out and looked in the direction where Peter had left. His eyes were filled with curiosity. Mr. Lockwood? The old man looked at him carefully and said in a low voice, Although the speed of the young man's improvement is unusual, why did you arrange for him to receive a VIP token? Earl, you still don't get it, do you? Jacob Lockwood shook his head and said softly, Before Peter went to the devilish mountains, he was just an ordinary person, but he was gone for less than two days, and when he reappeared, he was a ninth-grade martial disciple. After that, he leveled up to first-grade master in just one night. That's impossible on his own. He has to have received help from an expert. What do you mean, sir? The shopkeeper asked. There's an expert backing Peter? Helping him advance toward the Shenshen realm? Jacob nodded lightly and murmured, Whoever it was managed to raise an ordinary person to a first-grade master. That would require a supreme stage warrior. Earl was even more shocked when he heard the man's words. He looked in the direction where Peter had left, and his eyes were filled with envy. At the same time, Peter arrived in the quiet room where the staff led him. He looked around and confirmed that no one was watching him. He sat cross-legged and called up his stats window. Without any hesitation, he raised his hand and pressed the cultivation technique column. The spiritual energy was consumed rapidly, and the system prompt sound continued to ring in his mind. Ding! Congratulations on raising the Chen family Qi gathering spell to heaven human unity. The spiritual energy's growth rate has increased to 50 per minute. Ding! Congratulations for successfully earning achievement, heaven human unity, reward. 5,000 spiritual energies and a random cultivation technique. Peter wasn't paying attention to the system prompt sounds. At that moment, he was like a bottomless pit as he absorbed the spiritual energy around him. A small vortex had formed in the quiet room. At the same time, the sky above the floating cloud school darkened very suddenly. A dim light fell from the sky, through the roof, and landed on Peter. All the warriors in King's Landing subconsciously looked toward the school, and their faces were filled with disbelief. Every warrior knew that kind of phenomenon. It was triggered when a skill or technique reached the oneness of man and nature stage. No one had been able to reach that stage in King's Landing for the past 100 years. Not even the super genius, Jenny. Peter slowly exhaled a foul breath in the quiet room as starlight flashed across his eyes. He muttered as the chi filled his body. Even the lowest grade cultivation techniques will give a martial artist a complete transformation. His eyes lit up when he thought of the possibilities. He heard the system prompt sound. System, what's the random technique you gave me? The system prompt spoke in his mind. Would you like to draw the reward now? Draw the reward immediately, he said quickly, without any hesitation. Before he finished his words, Peter felt his vision blur. It was as if he was flying in a starry sky as countless balls of colored light appeared around him. He knew what to do even without the system prompt. He immediately raised his hands and grabbed the nearest one. The ball of light shattered, and the scene in front of his eyes quickly dissipated. When he snapped back to his senses, he was back in the quiet room. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the upper-class yellow rank cultivation technique. Dashing Deficiency Soul Gathering Spell. As the system prompt sound spoke, Peter felt a large amount of unfamiliar information surge into his mind, informing him about the spell. His command of the Chen Family Qi Gathering Spell was low level. It could only allow raising a person's cultivation so far, if one wanted to break through to the innate Grandmaster or higher levels. It would depend on one's talent. An upper-class yellow rank technique could carry a person's cultivation rank to innate Grandmaster. If one was a genius like Jenny, they could potentially break through to the Shenshen realm with a technique like that. However, that wasn't why Peter was so excited. 
That cultivation technique would let him boost his spiritual energy growth significantly. He immediately tried activating the Dashing Deficiency Soul Gathering spell. As he entered the state of cultivation, the warriors in King's Landing had also recovered from their shock. Everyone in the city was very surprised. I never imagined another person in King's Landing would be able to advance his cultivation that far. I expect scouts from the Flowing Cloud Institution will be here before long. I wonder who that lucky person is. It must be someone older. Besides Jenny Chen, no one else has the talent to reach the oneness of man and nature stage, right? Whatever their age might be, if they could advance to that level, it means all of King's Landing's major powers will fight to please him. Whoever he is, he's risen to an incomparably noble standing. All of King's Landing's major powers? None of them will be able to compete with him now. Inside the school, the manager, Earl, and the exceptionally handsome Jacob Lockwood were looking toward where Peter had gone. They were shocked by what they witnessed. Jacob finally snapped back to his senses after a long time and said quietly, I never imagined that in a remote place like King's Landing, someone could reach the oneness of man and nature stage. It's uncommon even in the capital. And Peter Chen? I never in a million years thought it would be him. He flicked his wrist after he said that, and a metal token appeared in his hand. On the front was a strange symbol, and the word Lockwood was written on the back. The Lockwood family's token, Earl exclaimed when he saw the token in Jacob's hand. Instruct all personnel who know of this situation not to reveal Peter's identity to the public. Inform everyone that the one who discovered the technique is an old expert from the school. Jacob tossed the token to Earl. And keep this for now. If Peter survives the clan competition, you could send this token to him and his family on behalf of the Lockwoods. The desk manager nodded and put it away carefully. He looked in the direction Peter had gone, and his eyes filled with envy. He knew what the token meant. It would let anybody travel freely in nearly the entire Floating Cloud Empire. Peter had no idea what was going on outside the room. The system prompt sound echoed in his mind again after he attempted to activate the new spell. Ding! Congratulations on successfully acquiring the Dashing Deficiency Soul Gathering spell. The system detects that the host has two cultivation techniques. The host can switch between techniques freely. The spiritual energy effect and level will remain the same. Peter's face lit up with delight when he heard the information. He quickly summoned the stats window. The new spell was listed underneath the Chen family Qi spell. There would be no way to hide the breakthrough to the oneness of man and nature stage, given the public spectacle it had caused. Peter assumed everybody in the school knew he was the one who'd done it. He was grateful he could switch techniques on the fly. He could use the family chi spell to power up the soul gathering spell, and he'd always stay at the higher level, even when using the older spell. Peter slowly stood up, pushed the door open, and walked toward the arena. Although the power-up was unexpected good luck, he hadn't forgotten his main purpose at the Floating Cloud School. Inside the Floating Cloud Arena, ten huge fields were arranged in a line. There were warriors competing in each of them. The seats surrounding them were filled with people shouting and cheering. What a cool place! Peter looked around the arena and clicked his tongue in admiration. Every arena was made of black firestone. This rock had no unique characteristics, though it was very sturdy. Its sturdiness made it popular for arena fields, so it was highly valued. In King's Landing, only the Floating Cloud School had the resources to build ten black firestone rings in one place. Please sign me up. Peter said as he walked to the registration center and handed the VIP certificate to the staff member. Low-grade VIP? He saw the certificate and was surprised. However, he didn't ask for an explanation. After registering Peter, he returned the certificate and said respectfully, You're in the seventh ring. The next challenger will be waiting for you. Thank you. Also, if you can, please keep my identity a secret, he asked. Before the staff member could respond, Peter walked straight to the seventh ring. 
As he arrived, a muscular man in the ring knocked his opponent back with a palm strike to the chest. He won the match. A wave of cheers instantly sounded from the surrounding spectators. Obviously, this man was a crowd favorite. The MC appeared in the arena and loudly announced, Congratulations to Morris Barker for his third consecutive victory. If he can defeat his next two opponents, he will become the first person to win five consecutive victories in a day and will earn a special gift prepared by the Floating Cloud Marshall School. Now, let's invite the next challenger to the stage. With a tap of his feet, Peter leaped into the air and landed in the arena. The surrounding audience burst into an uproar. Isn't that Peter Chen? I heard his luck is pretty good. He became a ninth grade disciple in one day. You're selling him short. He's already a first grade martial master. He defeated David Harris in one move. The David Harris? Are you kidding me? Isn't Peter famous for being a null? Even if he can use cultivation, he shouldn't be able to defeat a Harris. He really did. To be fair, David Harris isn't exactly a prodigy. You're right. If Peter is challenging Morris Barker, he must be confident. That, or he's asking for trouble. Morris has already reached dominating refinement. I don't think Mr. Chen will last more than a few strikes. Who knows? Maybe he gained a new ability we don't know about? Maybe the new power is centering his aura? He heard the discussions in the audience, but he didn't say anything. He knew that in most people's opinion, he was still the null of the Chen family, so it was normal for nobody to think highly of him. Taking a wooden sword from a weapon rack... Peter cupped his hands towards Morris and said seriously, Shall we begin? Peter Chen. Morris laughed and heaved a sigh of relief when he saw his opponent. He only knew Peter as a null. He might be from an influential family, but clearly none of that power had been passed down. With his strength, Morris was confident he could easily defeat him. Looks like the school's special gift is as good as mine. I wonder what it is. Seeing the expression on his opponent's face, Peter could guess what he was thinking, but he didn't say anything. Instead, he looked at the host and asked, Can you announce the start? The Master of Ceremonies looked at Morris, who nodded. The MC immediately said, The battle begins! Morris crossed his arms and looked at Peter. Young Master Chen... You go first, he said quietly. I don't want the fans to say I won without giving you a chance. Hearing those words, a burst of laughter came from the audience. Peter acted as if he didn't hear the laughter all around him. His eyes narrowed. He activated the Chen family chi gathering spell and rushed forward. Stupid. Morris shook his head and felt disappointment in his heart. If Peter were going to fight head on, the match would be over in seconds. There was no other possibility. The gift is mine. Morris fired up the chi in his body. He stretched out both of his hands and grabbed at Peter. As long as he could hold his opponent down, the battle would be his. He expected Peter to try and dodge, but he didn't. He flew like a swallow returning to its nest and rammed into Morris's chest. The reigning champion closed his hands on Peter's shoulders. Just like that? Morris felt a little shocked. He didn't think his opponent would be so foolhardy. Maybe you don't have enough combat experience. I'll teach you a proper lesson. He flexed his arms, trying to throw Peter out of the arena. However, before he could, a smile suddenly appeared on Peter's face. The chi gathering spell suddenly erupted. The wave of powerful chi instantly forced Morris back. At the same time, he swung the wooden sword in his hand. A mirror of the blade swung from the other side, too, hitting Morris in the chest. He screamed in shock as he fell. There were two crisscrossing bruises on his chest. He was knocked out. Seeing this scene, the audience on both sides of the arena fell silent. The MC was also stunned. He didn't expect Peter to land an attack. Peter held the wooden sword and looked at the speechless announcer. Can you declare the winner? When the MC heard this, it felt like waking up from a dream. Then, he quickly announced, The victor is Peter Chen! The system prompt sound chimed in his mind. Ding! Congratulations on defeating Morris Barker. Reward, 100 spiritual energy, 
100 mirror sword spell proficiency. Ding! Congratulations on triggering the time-sensitive mission, Arena Winning Streak. Obtain five consecutive victories in the Floating Cloud Martial School Challenge Arena today. Completion reward, 10,000 spiritual energy and a random movement skill. Peter was up for the challenge. Peter hadn't planned to level up the Mirror Sword spell, but he'd be happy to. At the same time, the people in the audience came back to their senses. Looking at Peter, who was standing victorious in the arena, they started to murmur again. Am I seeing things? Morris Barker was defeated in one move? Is Mr. Chen actually that strong? Peter's really going to shake things up. Someone on the side retorted, He's just lucky. If Morris hadn't underestimated him, he'd never have stood a chance. Now that people know, nobody else will give him an opening. His tone was full of disdain. That's right. If it wasn't for Morris's overconfidence, Peter couldn't have won against him. Those words resonated with the audience. Some of them really agreed. Others simply didn't want to admit that the Null had transformed. It seemed like he'd been reborn. Hearing the discussions around him, Peter smiled. He said to the host, Invite the next challenger onto the stage. When the MC heard the command, he asked, Young master, you still want to continue the challenge? By his assessment, Peter had defeated Morris purely due to luck. Now he wanted to keep going? He might get hurt. Didn't he know that if he continued the challenge, he'd fight even harder opponents? Peter shrugged and spoke with a smile as if he'd already accepted that he had lost. I'll give it a try. Anyway, I won't lose anything if I lose, right? The MC didn't push him further. It seems you've made up your mind. He looked at the stage below and said loudly, Next challenger, please take the stage. A thin man jumped up and landed in the ring. He raised his hands towards Peter and flashed him a determined smile. He said, Young Master Chen, thank you for letting me win. Hearing the skinny man's words, a burst of laughter came from the audience. The challengers who were waiting on the sidelines looked unhappy. They secretly cursed fate for not letting them get into such an easy fight. Peter only smiled as his gaze fell on the MC. The host understood and shouted, The battle begins! Before he finished speaking, the lean man had already activated his fighting technique. His entire body shimmered like a ghost and he teleported behind Peter. He suddenly soared into the air, using his hands like an eagle's wings, and he smashed downward toward Peter's back. Hearing the sound of the wind whooshing behind him, Peter quickly turned around and fired the family chi spell with all his strength. He waved the wooden sword in his hand, and two blades crossed each other, forming a dazzling X as the lean man descended toward him. The lean man didn't expect his opponent to turn with such speed, his reactions are that fast? He was in the air and didn't have time to dodge. He crashed into the crossed blades. A red light flashed in the air. The lean man flew backward and fell out of the arena. Peter looked at the dumbfounded host with a smile. The winner is Peter once again, the MC announced. Ding! Congratulations for defeating the opponent. Reward, 200 spiritual energy, 200 mirror sword proficiency. Ding! Congratulations for raising mirror sword proficiency to dominating refinement. Ding! Time limit mission updated. Wins. Two out of five. Peter swung his sword. Two down. Three to go. Peter won again? Gasps could be heard from the audience. Nobody could believe that he could actually defeat a second person. That idiot also underestimated his opponent, someone said disdainfully. He clearly knew that Chen had some strength, but he still made a bad move by putting himself in the air. But that aside, he's clearly an expert in that mirror sword technique. He must at least be an exemplary master, right? That speed was incredible. It's obvious he's a master. The person who spoke before sneered and said, there are tons of martial artists who are exemplary masters, or even dominating masters. It's nothing special. The fact that Peter had reached exemplary mastery level with any technique meant he had access to cultivation. 
where had his power come from? When the others heard the man belittling Peter, the surrounding audience couldn't help but glare at him. When they saw the uniform of the Harris family, they immediately understood what he was doing. The Harris family and the Chen family were like oil and water. The two families' disciples couldn't bear to be around each other. Since this man was with the Harris family, it was perfectly normal for him to belittle the Chens. Look, someone's getting into the ring, someone suddenly called out, interrupting the discussion. Everyone in the audience looked towards the arena. They saw a young man wearing a Harris family uniform standing on the ring, looking at Peter who stood not far away. He had a cold smile on his face. That's Aaron Harris? An audience member exclaimed. He was ranked in the top ten of the Harris family's third generation disciples. They said he'd even cultivated the overlapping waves sword technique to the dominating refinement level. There were very few disciples in the King's Landing who could match him. Humph, it's my cousin Aaron. The Harris family disciple who'd belittled Peter laughed out loud. My cousin will take him down. Peter will never win again. The audience in the stands stopped talking when they heard this. They were familiar with Aaron's skills. No one thought that Peter would beat him in a match. After all, with the rivalry between the Harris family and Chen family, the disciples of either would always go all out against the disciples of the other. It would be impossible for Aaron to underestimate his opponent. In the arena, Aaron couldn't help but smile when he heard the gossip around him. He looked at Peter and said with a cold smile, I never thought that I'd get a chance to fight the Chen family's null. Your good luck ends here. Do you want to leave the arena by yourself, or do you want me to knock you out of it? Peter's face became stony when he heard that. He said in a deep voice, Don't be so full of yourself. You might have to eat your words. Do you think you're invincible after breaking through to first grade martial master? Aaron sneered and looked at the MC. He said lightly, Announce the start. The host looked at Peter. Seeing him nod his head, the MC loudly announced, The battle begins! As soon as his voice faded, Aaron and Peter rushed towards each other at the same time. The wooden swords in their hands whistled through the air. Seeing this scene, everybody in the audience, regardless of whose side they were on, held their breaths and stared at the stage, waiting to see what happened next. The wooden swords collided, producing a dull crack. Aaron and Peter both took a few steps back, then waved their weapons again, pressing against each other. Aaron's actually at a disadvantage? Someone noticed that he'd taken four steps back during the exchange, but Peter had only taken three. It's only one or two steps. It doesn't mean anything, someone next to him added. He could just be reestablishing his footing. But who would have thought Peter could fight equally with a Harris? He should be proud of himself. After all, Aaron's been a fighter for a long time. Hearing the man's words, the surrounding people began to cheer for Peter. He'd turned from a null who couldn't use cultivation to a first-grade martial master. Now he was fighting Aaron Harris to a draw in the arena. This kind of luck was enviable. As the audience's favor began to turn, Aaron's heart was filled with jealousy and anger. In the clash with Peter just now, he was actually at a disadvantage? How? He'd been training hard since he was a child. He'd put in years of hard work to reach the dominating refinement level. Among his peers in King's Landing, he was among the top ten. He'd always been proud of his strength, but today he was being matched by Peter Chen, the underachieving null of King's Landing. This is impossible, he suddenly roared out in anger. His eyes were filled with flames. He kept waving the wooden sword in his hand. Countless shadows and dark copies of the blade rushed toward his opponent like the ocean's waves, an unstoppable force of nature. Peter's expression became serious. He quietly boosted the Chen family chi spell and swung the wooden sword. The weapon and its mirror swept out, forming an X of light that flew toward Aaron. The X of light collided with the layers of shadow, and both disappeared. The two wooden swords made a clack as they collided. Both fighters took a few steps back. 
an equal. Aaron stopped moving. He looked at Peter and cried out, Your mirror sword technique is also dominating refinement level? Hearing his words, the audience and the martial artists waiting on the sidelines flew into an uproar. Aaron's younger cousin, Tristan, the one who had belittled Peter, had a gloomy expression on his face. He'd never expected that Peter could come anywhere close to matching his cousin in combat. Judging from the ranged attack that Peter had sent out earlier, his mirror sword technique was near mastery. Could it be? An absurd thought surfaced in Tristan's mind. He murmured, Could it be that Peter raised his mirror sword technique to dominating while he was in the ring? How's this possible? He shook his head. He threw this absurd idea away. Peter, that trash, dares stand up to my cousin? Aaron, you gotta beat that no. Calming himself down, he cheered for his cousin, and the people nearby joined in. In the arena, Peter took two steps back and looked at the shocked Aaron. He said quietly, You guessed right, and here's your reward. He dashed forward like an arrow loosed from its bow. He pushed the chi-gathering spell to its limit, swung the wooden sword, and summoned a pair of crossed swords made of light. They slashed toward Aaron with an unimaginable speed. Facing Peter's sword technique, Aaron didn't dare blink. He pushed his chi to its limit, held the wooden sword with both hands, and slashed. Even though he already knew Peter had reached the dominating refinement level, with Aaron's pride, he wouldn't retreat in front of a former null. A sharp crack of collision echoed across the arena. Aaron was hit in the chest and he went flying backward. He fell from the arena and landed on the floor, among the people sitting on the sidelines. Peter realized he wasn't unscathed. On his shoulder, there was blood seeping out. It was obvious that although he'd beaten Aaron, the opponents were getting tougher. Holding the wooden sword, Peter's eyes swept across the silent audience. Finally, his gaze landed on the MC. The host suddenly shivered and quickly announced, The winner of this battle is Peter Chen! Just as he finished speaking, the system prompt sound also swiftly resounded in Peter's mind. Ding! Congratulations for defeating Aaron Harris. Reward, 300 spiritual energy, 300 mirror sword proficiency. Ding! Timed challenge updated. Wins, 3 out of 5. Peter was thrilled, but his face was expressionless as he looked at the host. He said casually, Next challenger, please. Everyone in the audience heard him, and only then did they come to their senses. Someone said in surprise, this guy wants to keep fighting? He must have used a lot of energy, right? Isn't he afraid that others will overpower him? How can it be that easy? Someone smiled bitterly. Look at those fighters waiting below the ring. They're terrified. After that fight, who's going to challenge him? The martial artists below also heard that person's words, but they were silent. If they could use cultivation, it wouldn't be hard to defeat Peter. However, in the arena... Their cultivation was restricted to martial skills only. With that limitation, nobody had much confidence in their odds. After all, most of them had only reached the low-level mastery ranks recently. If they faced Peter, wouldn't that be asking for humiliation? No one? He stood in the arena. Seeing that no one was stepping up, he couldn't help but feel disappointed. He was still hoping for two people to challenge him and let him complete the time-sensitive mission. The 10,000 spiritual energy reward was a major prize, but Peter really wanted to know what the random movement technique would be. In a side room, Jacob Lockwood watched the scene in the arena. He shook his head and laughed. This Peter Chen is really trying to win. The gift is a mid-grade yellow rank saber technique. It's nothing the Chen family doesn't already have. Sighing, Jacob instructed the school staff beside him. Go. Arrange two people to challenge young Master Chen. Ask him to clear the stage once he wins the gift. I thought he wanted to keep a low profile. The staff quickly arranged for people to challenge Peter. In the arena, Peter kicked the second challenger off the stage and turned to look at the Master of Ceremonies. 
The winner of this battle is Peter Chen, the MC announced. Congratulations to young Master Chen for becoming the first challenger with five consecutive matches today. He will receive a special gift from the Floating Cloud Martial School, the Black Wind Blade Technique. Before the MC finished speaking, the familiar system prompt sound chimed in Peter's mind. Ding! Congratulations for defeating the challenger. Reward, 500 spiritual energy, 500 mirror sword proficiency. Ding! Congratulations, host, for completing the timed mission, arena winning streak. Reward, 10,000 spiritual energy, a random movement skill. A smile appeared on his face. After receiving the black wind blade technique, Peter jumped off the arena and walked to the side room. After he left, the other people on the sidelines went to challenge each other, but not many people were in the mood to stick around and watch. Many spectators' thoughts drifted to the Chen family competition that was about to begin. A dark horse like Peter had suddenly appeared without any fanfare. Many people had considered watching the competition or hoped to find a way to join in the fun. Now they'd make sure they didn't miss it. Peter naturally didn't know what the audience was thinking. He returned to the room. After instructing the staff not to disturb him, he sat on the chair and called up the attributes panel. Host, Peter Chen. Cultivation, first grade martial master. Next level, 52 out of 20,000. Cultivation grade, null. Next level, zero out of 1,000. Current cultivation method, Chen Family Qi Gathering Spell, Heaven Human Unity, Proficiency Max. Cultivation option, Dashing Deficiency Soul Gathering Spell, Beginner Practice, Proficiency, 1 out of 5,000. Martial Skill, Mirror Sword Spell, Dominating Refinement, Proficiency, 1,399 out of 1,500. Spiritual Energy, 25,985. Current Growth Rate, 50 per minute. Without any hesitation, Peter raised his hand and tapped on the cultivation column. Ding! Congratulations for leveling up. Current level, Grade 2 Martial Master. 1 out of 40,000. Spiritual Energy's growth rate increased to 60 points per minute. He looked at the remaining 6,037 spiritual points on his stats window. He hesitated for a moment before finally placing his finger on the Martial Skill column. He wanted to see if anything would change when he raised the Mirror Sword spell to the Oneness of Man and Nature stage. Ding! Congratulations for raising Mirror Sword spell to Pinnacle, next level, 1 out of 5,000. Ding! Congratulations to User for raising Mirror Sword spell to Heaven Human Unity, rank 1 of Secondary Sword Skill, Dichroic Shadow Sword. Peter couldn't help but smile. The mirror sword spell was the most common sword technique in Floating Cloud Empire. As long as one had money, anybody could buy it. It was rumored that if somebody could break through to the oneness of man and nature stage with the mirror sword cultivation, they would receive a higher level sword technique. However, in this huge Floating Cloud Empire, Peter had never heard of anyone receiving extra techniques from the mirror sword spell. The reason was simple. Those geniuses who could advance a cultivation to the oneness of man and nature stage would have access to many sword techniques and cultivations. Naturally, they wouldn't waste their time advancing the mirror sword spell to the highest level just because of a rumor. After all, not everyone was as focused as Peter. As long as he gained enough levels, no matter what techniques or skills he was leveling, he could break through to the legendary oneness of man and nature stage. I've got plenty of sword skills for the time being, Peter said to himself as he sorted out the information that suddenly appeared in his mind. A secondary sword skill wasn't significant in the larger Floating Cloud Empire, but in King's Landing, it was powerful enough that the major powers might fight over it. The most advanced martial skill in the Chen family was a similar rank to what Peter had just received, and only the patriarchs and elders had access as for this black wind blade technique, he took out the mysterious gift given to him by the staff of the school. He couldn't help but feel disappointed by it. If he didn't have the dichroic shadow sword, he would consider using the black wind blade. But now, he didn't want to waste his spiritual energy on such a low-level ability. 
I'll send it back to the school, Peter decided, then put away the manual. He then ordered the system in his heart. Draw the movement technique reward. As soon as he finished speaking, his vision blurred. When his eyes cleared, he was in a starry sky. Like before, a large number of different colored light spheres appeared around him. Peter raised his hand and grabbed the nearest one. The ball shattered, and the scene around him quickly collapsed. Ding! Congratulations for obtaining the movement skill, Crane Shadow Tracing. As usual, when the system prompt sound spoke, Peter felt a large amount of unfamiliar information surge into his mind. It was everything he needed to use a new technique. After sorting out the information in his mind, he smiled. That's a pretty good skill. Body techniques were harder to obtain than martial skills. Although it wasn't terribly rare or high level, it was a very respectable rank and a versatile ability. Putting away his stats window, Peter stood up and walked out of the room. He went straight to the counter. When Earl saw him, he immediately smiled and said, Congratulations, young Master Chen, for winning five battles in a row. I believe you're planning to sell the Black Wind Blade Technique Manual, right? Yes. Peter nodded slightly and placed the manual on the desk. He said, Sir, you should know that I appreciate the gift the school gave me, and I mean no disrespect by selling it back to you. It's just not suitable for my style. Young Master Chen, you can just call me Earl. He quickly said, but there is one thing I should tell you. If you sell the Black Wind Blade technique to the school, I can only give you a thousand silver tails. You could get a lot more if you sell it in the marketplace or the Chen family black market. If it was someone else, Earl would have simply accepted the sale, but he felt responsible for Peter, who didn't know much about the world of cultivation since he was so new to it. Furthermore, he knew Peter had cultivated a technique for the oneness of man and nature stage. Earl naturally wanted to find a way to befriend him. Thank you for the reminder. Peter smiled and shrugged indifferently. I guess I could sell it in the marketplace, but that sounds like a lot of hassle. Besides, this was a free gift I don't need. I'll take your offer. Earl put away the manual, and then took a thousand tails of silver from the counter and handed them to Peter. Thank you. He took the money and put it in his pocket. After that... He turned around and walked out of the school, heading back toward his house. As soon as Peter entered the Chen family house, he was stopped by Deacon Lang, who was waiting for him. They went to Harold's residence. Deacon, guard the door. Don't let anyone else in, Harold told Lang. He nodded, turned around, and walked out, closing the door behind him. Dad, why are you looking for me? Peter felt a little guilty when he saw Harold's serious countenance. You have done many good things. He looked at his son and said in a deep voice, A first grade martial master, a dominating refinement mirror sword technique, defeating David Harris in the street, and then Aaron in the arena. Dad, do you know everything? Peter was a little scared by his father's face. Humph, do you think I'm deaf? When Harold heard this, he couldn't help but scoff. You went out and caused trouble. Your sudden advancements caught the great elder's attention. But now, you revealed your miraculously high cultivation base. First grade master. What, do you think the great elder and the others won't make a move and attack you? Peter was silent for a moment after hearing what his father said. Dad, don't be angry. Then he said in a low voice, Actually... I'm not a first-grade martial master. Harold was stunned for a moment when he heard this. Then, he placed his hand on his son's shoulder and transferred a wisp of chi into his body. Second-grade martial master? Harold's eyes bulged and he cried out involuntarily. And you have so much chi! His expression changed and he quickly asked, Peter, you haven't been possessed by some old monster, right? Peter couldn't help but roll his eyes and said angrily, Dad, do you really think I've been possessed? Is it so unbelievable that my powers are my own? I've improved so quickly because of one simple thing. Without waiting for a reply, he moved closer to Harold's ear and whispered, I raised my base cultivation 
to the oneness of man and nature stage. His father's face stiffened. He swallowed his words, and after a long moment, finally said, You might as well claim you're possessed. Have you made a deal with a devil? Peter rolled his eyes again and explained, Dad, you know I've used cultivations before. Remember the family chi gathering spell? Before that old man in the mountains saved me, I'd already advanced that technique to perfection. Last night, I had an epiphany and felt the threshold of the oneness stage was close. After fighting David today, I boosted the Chen family spell in the Floating Cloud School. That's how it reached that stage. So you're the one who triggered that phenomenon. Harold was stunned for a moment. Then he laughed out loud. I didn't expect your ability to be so strong. If anyone dares to call you null, I'll personally deal with them. Hearing his father's words, Peter secretly heaved a sigh of relief. Still, his father's accusation of possession was worryingly accurate. From now on, if his cultivation base continued to improve at incredible speed, he could still use the high stage for the chi gathering spell to explain it. Dad, he hesitated for a moment. He looked at Harold, who was still laughing, and said in a low voice, There is one more thing. Harold's smile froze when he heard that. The corner of his mouth twitched slightly as if he'd already accepted bad news. He sighed and said, What else? Tell me, I can handle it. Peter Chen carefully looked at him, then continued, It's the mirror sword spell. I reached the oneness of man and nature stage with it, too. After that, I learned a secondary sword technique. It's called the dichroic shadow sword. To his surprise, Harold didn't seem shocked by what he said. He just nodded. He said softly, Dichroic Shadow Sword. It's a good technique. It's worth practicing. That's all? Peter was shocked when he heard his father's words. He had a ridiculous thought. Could it be that you were hoping to level the Mirror Sword to the Oneness stage? Harold glanced at his son and said in an annoyed tone, That's enough. I'm proud of your progress. Go and rest. Peter nodded and turned to leave. Wait! Harold's voice suddenly rang out. Be careful not to expose your strength. If Great Elder's group thinks you're still only a first-grade martial master, they'll be able to hold their temper. But if you expose your strength, I think they'll make a move against you. I understand, Peter nodded and said with a smile. I'm going to the Devilish Mountain Range to train. I'll come back in time for the family competition. That's good. Harold nodded and said, Be careful in the mountains. Train well. Peter nodded when he heard that. He pushed open the door and left the room. After his son left, Harold murmured, I didn't expect his ability to grow that fast. It's a pity that his cultivation talent is lackluster. He calculated the time. That competition would be coming soon. He had to find a way to get Peter trained faster. Even if he could only raise his son's cultivation talent to mid-grade, his future would be limitless. After Peter returned to his room, he looked at his stats window and found there weren't enough spiritual energy points to level up. He closed the stats window, lay down, and fell into a deep sleep. The next day, he woke up early in the morning. He called up his stats and looked at the 26,407 spiritual energy on it. Without hesitation, he placed his finger on the Dashing Deficiency Soul Gathering spell. Ding! Congratulations for raising Dashing Deficiency Soul Gathering spell to Dominating Refinement. Next level, 1 out of 50,000. Spiritual Energy's growth rate increased to 68 per minute. Ding! The host lacks sufficient spiritual energy, unable to upgrade. Looking at the remaining 6,409 spiritual energy on his stats window, Peter placed his finger on the crane shadow tracing. He was going to go to the devilish mountain range to train. He wanted his abilities as strong as possible before leaving. Ding! Congratulations for raising crane shadow tracing to exemplary mastery. Next level, 1 out of 4,000. Ding! Congratulations for raising Crane Shadow Tracing to Dominating Refinement. Next level, 1 out of 8,000. Peter put away the attribute panel. 
pushed open the door and walked out of the Chen family house. Time to see what he could do.